You don't have to travel to Louisiana to get authentic Cajun cuisine. I'm here at Auntie's Meat Market in Delhi in Pearland, Texas. Come on and let's take a look. When you're traveling through Texas, you're bound to get hungry. Join Joe as he eats his way through the Lone Star State. This is Texas Chronicles Pit Stop with Joe Perez. We like to do everything from scratch. So one of those uh, very important aspects is our shrimp po' boys. We do a hand battered shrimp, and one thing that we do, our shrimp are all from Louisiana. We do not do any any imported shrimp. It's all Louisiana shrimp on our po' boys. Everything's hand battered, uh, very fresh, uh, very tasty. You're not going to get a better shrimp po' boy anywhere in the area. And that goes the same for our catfish. We do a very good catfish po' boy. I have yet to find one that's going to beat ours. Our catfish is strictly from Mississippi or Alabama. Again, it's a domestic product. We do not do any imported catfish. And one of the other uh, big aspects of our business is we, we like to bring in our Louisiana roots. So one of the uh, biggest products that we make that is a New Orleans specialty is our muffaladas. Uh, we, we start with a homemade olive salad that we, we put on the sandwich. It starts with a scoop of the olive salad on the bottom of the bread. Uh, we top that with cheese. We double decker the meats. Uh, and this is the, the only one in this area that you're gonna find that's made properly using all three meats. We, we do the ham, the salami, and the mortadella. So we top that with uh, another layer of cheese and another scoop of olive salad on the top. Uh, we serve this in either quarter, half, or whole servings. Uh, you have to be a pretty good eater to eat a whole muffalata. Uh, but they're very they're very good leftover, so don't be afraid to go ahead and get a whole one. You know, as I mentioned, we make our own sausages here. We have about nine different varieties. What we have right here, we have our andouille sausage. It's a very popular Louisiana item, uh, mainly used in gumbos or for cooking as an ingredient. Um, very popular in Louisiana, and we have the best andouille in the area. Uh, we have a couple of different other varieties in here. We have our garlic and black pepper, which is one of my favorites. It's a pork and beef blend. Uh, nice garlic and black pepper flavor topped off with a little onion. Uh, we have our black pepper sausage, which is an all pork sausage. Uh, nice pork smoked sausage with a black pepper uh, hint. Not too spicy, but lots of flavor. You know, I said, Auntie serves some of the best sausage in the area. Uh, we love every bit of it. Uh, we make nine different varieties. Cheese and jalapeno. Mmm, c'est bon. Really good. All right. Well, um, you know, we've been we've been here at this location for about three years now, and when we moved to Texas, we couldn't really find a sausage we liked, so we decided to make our own. And so we make about nine different varieties of sausages here. We do a all pork. We do a pork and beef blend. Different levels of seasoning, different flavors. All using quality meats, quality spices. Uh, you start with quality, you end up with quality, and that's what our goal is. So today we're making a, we're making a Louisiana favorite called boudin. Another another favorite way to prepare boudin is in the boudin balls. We take those take the boudin, we make it in the balls, we batter it, deep fry it. it goes really good with your favorite beverage. We're gonna start stuffing some boudin now, and this is the same process basically for all of our sausages as well. We would prepare the blends. We would put the seasonings in them uh, and then we'd stuff it into natural casings. We only use natural casings here. And with a good homemade sausage like we make here, we have no fillers in our sausages. And one thing that we have going for us here at Antes is uh, my other job is I'm a food safety manager for a meat processing company. So we take everything that I've uh, I experienced in the meat industry and we apply it here uh, to make sure that we're putting out quality, safe products for all of our customers. So this is our boudin going into the casings. So once we have it in our casing, we'll twist it in our links. We do we hand twist here. I don't no equipment needed. Just take it however long you want it, pinch it off. And there you go, you got your nice boudin link. Then once this cools down, we'll separate those links and we sell it by the link. So by the pound, you can have we have it on our, our deli menu. 
you can order it by the link. You know, one thing that we're also familiar with from Louisiana is we're surrounded by hunters. One of the things that we do here is wild game processing. Um, we're very good at it. We, most of the hunters that come in here, if not all the hunters that come in here, uh, they love our products and they keep coming back and telling their friends. And within three years, we've tripled our business, if not more than tripled our business in wild game processing and looking to grow in uh, this hunting season. From delicious meatloaf and deli sandwiches to homemade gumbo and choice great steaks to corn and shrimp bisque, there are so many Louisiana staples to choose from. The next time you're in Pearland, a stop by Auntie's Meat Market and Deli is a must.